AFTV, Arsenal 2, Luton 0. Laurie, a, a win for Arsenal? Yeah, yeah, it was a win. And uh, listen, yeah. first and foremost, we're happy with the win. But I've got to say, it was more functional than yeah. it was fantastic or fabulous. Mm. Um, it was... The second half especially yeah. wasn't very good. Was what, what is it about the second half that people seem to be quite so upset about? Because I personally, obviously, considering the rotation that we had within the squad, I don't think the 2-0 result is necessarily a bad result. I'm just no, try, struggling to understand. 2-0 no, no. is, listen, yeah. at the end of the day, a win is a win is a win. Of course. Um, but I think you, me, most of Arsenal fan base were expecting that after being 2-0 up in that first half mm. and getting up to 80% possession, yeah. You're thinking that in the second half, we're really going to drive it home, which we didn't. And to be fair to Luton, um, you know, I mean, they put a shift in, they're organised. They did their best. But let's be honest, man, this is about levels, isn't it? Arsenal should really have kicked on in that second half and done a lot better. But we didn't. And some of it is down to Luton. Yeah. Um, I mean, I did say in a preview show that I did with the guys that the one thing you can say about Luton is, is that um, they're not the most talented of teams, but they do, they do turn up. Uh, and they did so today, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, they tried, they put a shift in, but at the same time, I'm also, I wouldn't say critical, a little bit underwhelmed yeah. at that performance in the second half. Yeah. Would I you think say, that's fair to say. Would you say it was a little bit of, in a way, complacency from Arsenal? You know, going 2-0 up, getting comfortable. To be honest, we've seen it in the past, a very dangerous yeah. scoreline. Yeah. Do you think it's a little bit of complacency from Arsenal? Possibly, possibly. I mean, it could be that, they felt they was always in control yeah. and that they could have gone up a level if required. So if Luton did manage to get a goal, they're probably thinking, oh, you know what I mean, we got enough in the tank to get another goal yeah. and not lose, you know what I mean, and go on and win the game. But I guess from an aesthetics point of view, you just wanted, you know what I mean, we're like champions elect. That's what we're thinking. We're thinking, yeah, man, gone to City, got a good point there. Luton, you know what I mean, second bottom or wherever it is, or third bottom. Yeah. We should be smoking them, but it didn't happen that way. But we got the win. So at the end of the day, a win is a win. And we move on to the next game, um, top or near top of the table. And it's all good. Absolutely. Obviously, there was a lot of changes made in the lineup today. A lot of, a lot of us, which were quite surprised about the amount of changes, especially some of the names. Reese Nelson starting his first game in the Premier League in nearly four years now. Um, what did you make of the changes that were made to the starting eleven, and obviously how they played throughout the game? Yeah, so first and foremost... We did say in the preview show that we was possibly looking at three changes. Yeah. Zinchenko thought would come in. We thought Partey would come in. We thought it'd be a change for Saka. So mm -hmm. we got three, but there's actually five, which yeah. is a bit more than I thought. But I still felt on balance that you're looking at that team that was more than enough to get the job done, which it proved. Um, of those five, I think, well, obviously, Smith Rowe was man of the match, yeah. so he stood out. Uh, I thought Zinchenko made a good start and had some good moments, mm -hmm. but lost concentration at times in the game. Um, similar with Partey. I mean, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Reese kind of flitted in and out of the game. But listen, I'm glad they got minutes. You want guys mm -hmm. on the periphery of the team to get minutes, to get accustomed to uh, the football at that high pace so that when they are called upon, they can do a job. So I've got no problems with, with the changes that was made. And absolutely, out of all of those changes you mentioned in Mill Smith Rowe, would you say he was your man of the match today? Yeah, absolutely he was. I mean, um, I've got to say though, that Saliba and, uh, and um, Gabriel, yeah. once again, were outstanding. Not it Eddie, could... not Eddie. <laughs> I'm going to say it every single time. <laughs> you remind me of Turkish. <laughs> you know I mean? um, no, what I was, the point I was making was that once again, uh, Gabriel Megalace and Saliba mm -hmm. at the back were outstanding. It could be said, though, that they didn't really have a whole lot to go up against. Um, so, yeah, on balance, you would have to say that Smith Rowe was the standout performer. But I've got to also say that I'm struggling to pick a player apart from those three that really stood out today, if you see what I mean. Yeah, I think I can see what Am you I mean. Am I being unfair to say I, that? I think, I think, obviously, you mentioned those three. Maybe, you know, I think, I think Ben White done quite well today. Yeah, yeah, he, he didn't play badly. Yeah. I mean, no one really played badly, but yeah. in, terms, in terms of standing out, I think Smith Rowe was the obvious one. And of course, like I said, the back two, um, you know what I mean, were, you know what I mean, as meticulous and, you know what I mean, as outstanding as they've been all season. 
Of course, absolutely. And obviously a win today puts us to back at the top of the Premier League table. How confident are you going into this final run of games that we've got? You know, if you look at the three teams, we've probably got the hardest run out of each team. And obviously we're top of the table now. We have to see, wait and see what Liverpool do against Sheffield United, which you'd expect to be a win. Obviously, we've seen stranger things in the past, but how confident are you for the remainder of the season going forward? I'm reasonably confident. Yeah. I must admit, my confidence level went up a little bit after the City game. And I'll tell you why, because going to City, a game like that, in the cauldron, a high-profile game, we, we, it, was a, it was a game on the line for both teams. Mm -hmm. To see the way we handled that, I thought that was very impressive. So when I saw the way we coped with that, that gave me the confidence to think, yes, this team are, are capable of going on and lifting the Premiership in May. However, we're up against two outstanding teams as well. And it's going to be back and forth, man. You know what I mean? I really do think it's going to go down to the last week. But I reckon we've definitely got a shout. Absolutely. And just, so just to round things off as well, we've got the game coming up against Brighton on the weekend. And then the big one midweek against Bayern Munich in the Champions League. It sounds so strange to say that again. but you know, To me, they're all big games, bro. All big games, all absolutely. Of them. Even tonight, big yeah. game. I said it before the game uh, mm. today. Tonight, even yeah. um, you can't overlook no teams, especially at this business end of the season where there's so much on the line. Every game, every game is a big game. Yeah. So, and we have to treat it as such. We can't afford to be complacent. Can't afford to overlook yeah. anybody. Can't afford to be overconfident. We've got to be professional uh, and get the job done. And we did that today. We weren't outstanding. Like I said, it was functional yeah. more than fantastic. But hey, mm. at the end of the day, we we achieved what we wanted to achieve, yeah. which was a win kept a clean sheet, mm -hmm. got the three points, we go again Saturday. Absolutely. And obviously you're not going into that game against Brighton with any sort of concerns or anything like that? Uh, not really, no. Okay, because, um, listen, all the games are different. Today's game was very different from the City game. Uh, when we played City, they had the majority of the possession. Today we played Luton, we had the majority of the possession. Uh, Brighton, different opposition. We're away from home, different game completely. Um, but I am confident we can go there and get a result as well. Though.